Thanks for joining us. Here are your top headlines. They are sometimes overlooked, but school bond and levy elections can be some of the most impactful decisions at the community level. Voters in three area school districts will vote in elections tomorrow. In CUNA, voters are asked to renew a levy passed back in 2017. Tax rates would not increase, but the $2.5 million would allow for the hiring of 20 new teachers to accommodate the rapid growth. New Plymouth will ask for $350,000 for maintenance and operations and voters in Payette will consider a nearly $31 million bond to remodel the high school and elementary school. The city of Boise is considering a major increase in the number of scooters on city streets so far. The city has 500 scooters from two different companies. It's adding another 250 from a third company this week. Obviously, the city hasn't seen the total impact that those scooters are having. Regardless, City Council is considering a possible change. Council wanted us to go back and look at the impacts of, of doubling that number per company. So we would still only have three companies, but each company might be allowed to have up to 500. That would bring the total to 1,500. The city is holding a work session tomorrow night to discuss possible scooter changes. There is no formal ordinance on the docket, but they expect to consider one sometime this spring. When it comes to prioritizing Meridian Road projects, the task of weighing one over the other is open for debate. In December, the city received a letter from ACHD asking Meridian to start on a five-year work plan. The county wanted their request to be submitted by this Friday the 15th. At the top of the list is improving Locust Grove Road from Overland to Victory, but getting an ID for overpass on Linda Road is something the council wants to put on the fast track. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. What a beautiful day at the Cherche Valley. This dark area on this water vapor satellite is the side of dry air. Not only no cloud cover, but very low humidity in this dark area right over southern and central Idaho, giving us the blue skies. Here's increasing humidity to the west as we get lighter white here, and we start to see the teal color uh, and the brighter white. That's the cloud cover coming in. This is a front that will come through, bringing some heavy snow to northern Idaho, some light snows to central Idaho, and about a two-hour period of rain to the Cherche Valley during the day tomorrow. In fact, we take a look at our time lapse here or our future cast and you see that precipitation coming right through the valley here. By 530, it's coming to an end. It starts about 330 or between 2 and 330, depending where you are. Then it pushes on through the valley. It's gone and then the sunshine uh, might even come back out, but the breeze is going to be picking up and it is likely we're going to be seeing a change coming in. Colder temperatures behind the front. Notice the temperatures dropping to near 40. will likely stay in the 40s, but next weekend, High temperatures could top 60 degrees. I'll have more on that coming up here in my next update. Plus, you can get updates on what's happening up in the sky tonight, a special astronomical event. You can go to my Facebook page or check back for updates later.